Greetings, ladies and gentle readers. I'm Dwyer, and it's uh, Sunday, going into July, trying to pick some of my reads for maybe the next week or two, maybe over the next month. So I thought my first stop is going to be over here onto the lit RPG genre, or lit RPG Reddit, sorry, and just see what's come out in the last week. There is so much stuff that just releases each week. So let's see if we missed anything cool. Did just finish reading a couple of things, some good, some bad, and those videos will be out uh, shortly. Let's see if we can't find our next read. Um, let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Excited for this, that. You know, Jake's Magical Market is something that I've seen pop up a couple of times. I don't think I've ever tried it. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Um, okay, here we go. Anybody know why I can't buy the first book? Well, that's weird. That's definitely strange. Don't know. Couldn't tell you. Do -do -do -do. Okay, here we go. June 25th, it looks like book seven, the conclusion to the Forerunner Initiative. That is something that I don't recall ever coming across. All right, what do we have here? Forerunner Initiative. Uh, with comfortable... With a comfortable onesie, sorry, and the ability to stop time, anything is possible. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're... If you can stop time, you could just, like, put the brakes on everything and go, slice, you're dead. Okay, that sounds real. that sounds like a pain in the booty to try to balance, but maybe. Let's go, let's go get, let's see, let's, let's see what we got. Uh, dragons, cat, girls, guns, and magic. Is this a harem novel or something? Uh, the ability to stop time, what could him? oh, probably not. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. My past could stay locked at a dark corner back on Earth. I mean, if you're in a different world, I imagine that it would, right? Because I'm assuming that's not what happened to Earth. Let's hope not, huh? Otherwise, they're kind of... It's not going to go well. Uh, first, have to play with magic. Huh. Don't really have any information about this. Yeah, don't really have any information about this. Um, a girl that can stop time? Maybe. A few things that catch my attention immediately. Uh, number one, there's no editor listed here. That's usually a concern. So if I'm trying to choose like between lit RPGs, there's a few things that I look for to either rope me in or maybe kind of like warn me away because it's... You you just have so much to choose from nowadays. It's amazing. For example, when we go to a, another huge lit RPG self-published kind of dealio, uh, I, I do kind of see if they brought on an editor to raise their work to the next level. So here, probably didn't. Or if they did, they don't know that they can include the editor in uh, in the thing. Because a lot of this is like really, really new to a lot of people, right? They don't really know that you can like list uh, editor, you can list the artist. I wish I saw more of that. A uh, Very, very few authors actually credit their artist here on the page even though there's a space for it so yeah don't know a lot about this let's see what else we have we, so we've got uh, to play with magic is an option okay um what else do we got got to meet seth ring cool vertical fishing maybe not much has come out maybe not much has come out this last week Path of the Berserker 2. Okay, here's another one. All right, so Path of the Berserker. I don't think I've read it. Uh, Cultivate to come to Earth. Destroyed the civilization. Armies fell. Decade later, humanity is slaves. They want none of that. Okay, so immediately is apparently the main character. Maybe OPMC? Unsure? All right, so we know that this person is apparently very, very upset with what's going on in the world. Now, does that mean he's going to be a murder hobo? Does that mean he's going to have to, you know, play well with others? Uh, to I, I mean, assuming he'll have to, right, to overcome, like, an entire world of imperial bureaucracy, it says. I, I'm assuming it will. That, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. Check out, all right, one star. One star, uh, sorry, one percent, one and two star reviews. Let's go check out what the three star have to see. Cultivation meets alien invasion. Solid action. Okay, this one I don't know about. I don't know about. This one says apparently it's got uh, an okay plot but bad dialogue and uh, apparently a lot of POV shifting. Um, it's not, 
I, I kind of shy away from bad dialogue and uh, a lot of uh, POV shifting. Because to me, I always wonder, you know, do they actually have to be there? Uh, is that just like bloating the 900 pages? Like what's, what, what's going on there, you know? Uh, of the two, I would say I'm probably leaning more towards to play with magic with maybe this one afterwards. Hard to say. What else do we got? Uh, Primal Hunter. Maybe I'll get back into this one eventually. Okay, another one. Accidental Champion. All right, uh, so Collins is sitting in class, so probably a teen. When t uh, system integrates with the Earth to the greater universe, kingdoms, empires. Didn't know what choosing to be a champion would entail. It's like the sound of it. That that sounds believable for a teenage character. Yeah, you just pick something that you sound like you... Like, yeah, that sounds fun. Let's go pick that. Why not? And then I guess he's probably going to regret his decision because he doesn't know what he's getting into. Is that where we're going with this? This could be good. This could be good. Um, teleported to an aptly named Tower of Champions must face challenges of those who have known about the system since birth. Ouch. Chance we've gotten a standing start, but now he has to earn a place he stumbled into if he's going to save his world. Don't really know what he's saving the world from, though. Is the system integration bad or bad things happening to it? We kind of don't know what the lead here is. I probably would have included that in the description. Because right now, I mean, if you've, lived, if you've read a lit RPG, system integration is not always a bad thing. It just means that people get to, like, level up. Uh, maybe there's a few monsters. They're generally low level. Maybe that's not the case. Is his world suffering in some way? Like, why Why do I uh, care about him? Like, what? what's with the whole fighting for Earth thing? Question mark. So, a little bit, little bit ambiguous description there. But I would say that goes ahead of Path of the Berserker. Um, it's currently fighting with to play with magic. All right, so then we also have Rune Seeker 3 launched. I do not think that I've actually read that. Um, humanity lives on flying islands. Interesting. Also looks like there's two um, authors here. That's also kind of interesting. Oh, wait, this is the Mark of the Fool guy? Oh, snap, wait, this is Mark of the Fool dude? Oh, bro, it is. Okay, I think this just popped up onto the to number one slot, because I do like Mark of the Fool. I, yeah, I do like Mark of the Fool. So I think maybe Rune Seeker first? Followed by to play with magic, and then maybe accidental champion. Just on the uh, just to be on the safe side, looking down, scrolling. I see zero percent one star, one uh, percent two star, six percent three. Seems fine. Nothing unusual here. So okay, decent decent stats of reviews from a predominantly trusted author. I'll 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 give it a shot. I'll give it a shot, sure. I'm not sure what to think about this next one. They said, first new lit RPG in seven years. Uh, found, found the link here. I know you're not supposed to like judge a book by its cover, but I confess that I do very often. I don't think it's AI generated. But the cover is very, very weird. Seems a little bit amateurish, which is, strikes me as strange because he's a, uh, already a well-documented uh, author, it looks like, that seems to, have, seems to have better covers. So this is definitely very different from his usual stuff for some reason or another. Yeah, I'm very confused at this. The cover's a little bit strange. And the blurb is weird. Yeah, I think we're going to avoid this. I, I think we're avoiding this. Breaker of Games, Nexus of Chaos, book one. That's very close to another series. Uh, I can't think of it offhand. No, I think there is like literally a couple of Nexus series out there. And it looks like this book contains... Uh, apparently 
we okay he's got goblins dad jokes no harems okay interesting to point out oh because probably because he points out there's a 1970s pimp ah uh, that looks like one man op sorry sorry one man mc in a game with a bunch of jokes hence the dungeon color carl reference uh with a bunch of strange uh humor and odd characters i think i'm gonna go ahead and pass i'm not really looking for a like a uh more comedic game show kind of book right now i don't think so we'll go ahead and give that one a pass Jeez, man look how many things have come out in just a week this is insane all right second chance swordsman all right so second chance swordsman i don't think i've read this have i is this a royal road thing i don't think it's a royal road thing it sounds familiar I don't think that I borrow it and return it at some point. I'm not sure. It sounds familiar. I might have to go ahead and snag it again to see what it is. I don't remember the description, though. Lord of the Rings meets Back to the Future. Mm, probably not. Probably not. Trying to push a description that your writing is close to Tolkien's, that's a high bar that you're probably not going to clear. Dude, that is that you're not clearing that bar. There's no way. No shot. Best-selling author of Arcane Kingdom Online. I don't like online uh, books, so I would not, I'd not have read that. Tire Tower. Tower Climber might have hard to say. Features time travel reincarnation, battles, and, uh, and ranks as a form of progression. Okay. I mean, there's three of them out. Or is it uh, holding up? Ooh, three and two. 3% 2, 2% 1. That's not danger levels. Anything over 5, given 1,000 reviews, or 2,000 reviews, sorry. That's starting to approach danger levels. Described as flat characters, Mary Sue, and cartoonish. Uh-oh. That's, that, that doesn't really, uh... That doesn't really bring together vibes of Lord of the Rings meets Back to the Future, is it? Yeah, you always have to remember when you see uh, a book that has, you know, the old bold descriptions of what it's like. Remember, that's not Amazon or an AI combing through his work and, you know, assigning it categories or whatever, right? That is the author trying to tell you what it's like, uh, which means doesn't have to be true. So this one, I admit, I'm curious to see if it's as bad as the reviews seem to make it out to be. Because sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. And sometimes are the answer somewhere like in, the, in between. Like sometimes it's like, okay, yeah, it's kind of bad, but you can see a diamond in the rough, you know? And I, I do enjoy reading those kind of things. So I think what I'll do right now, I think I will read Second Chance Swordsman. I think I will do Rune Seeker. I'm pretty confident that this is going to be pretty decent because I trust the author. So I will go from reading that, something good, to something that might be bad. And then after that, maybe we'll pick it back up with To Play With Magic because that might be good again. So we'll read something good, we'll read something questionable, and if it is, we can rebound with uh, something that's potentially better. Hopefully we don't get two duds in a row. Oh my god, another one? Rise of the Last Summoner? Dude. Alright, what do we have here? 400 years ago, in the time before the godfall, the demon hordes were unleashed upon the world of Alaria. Now the world has sunk to one small valley. And the valley of Alu... Or... Uh, uh, old? Humanity's last bastion. And within those walls... Sorry, and, sorry. All those within its walls are protected. Alien is markless. Don't know what that means. So, oh, someone who can't activate his skills. Keep reading, idiot. And he is one of the poorest markless there is. A miner forced to leave the city to toil. In oh, that sounds fun, actually. On uh, the way to and from the mines, the miners are kept secure in a locked wagon. The wagon is not locked to keep them from escaping. It's locked to keep the demons from getting in. I, I like the sound of this so far. Not going to cap. 
Yeah, no cap. I like the sound of this so far. That's cool. Like, you've got an unfortunate situation. People have to go out to get resources. That makes sense. So I'm seeing that the author is actually thinking about the world and how it's, li like, actually going to operate. Because a lot of people, like, they write the books and they have no idea where, like, these huge mega cities that they're writing are getting any of its resources from. Like, where is the wood coming from? Where is even the food coming from? Where Where is anything going from? Is there any sense of trade going on? Like, none of the, the very, very basic bare bones uh, questions that you would expect an author to think about and, you know, answer in their world. Like, a lot of these books don't even don't even go there. So they kind of feel a little bit paper thin. But when I read things like this, like, okay, we have a, we have a city. And in this city, people have to go out. How is that going to happen? They need to be protected. Their protectors are probably a little bit uh, burned on having to protect these people to keep the city running. I like these ideas. All right. Well, I attacked everyone's slay, and that sucks. He isn't marked. That's all he's given. He is full mark. Give him access to four. Oh, no. <sighs> Oh, now you might have lost me. Okay, OPMC. Okay, not necessarily bad, but now I'm cautious. So suddenly he has all, literally everything. Now, if he was just given Summoner, that would be kind of interesting in and of itself, if, especially with this next paragraph saying the Summoners are responsible for all of this ha happening, right? This is responsible for this. So if it was just this, that would be kind of interesting. Because then he wouldn't have, like, all the skills in the world. But okay. So, shouldn't exist, but he does. Yeah, so supposedly he's going to be killed on sight for just for being a summoner. So that in and of itself would have been good. So why did we go overboard and do the other things? I don't know. Rise of the Last Summoner? Is it really, though? Is it really Rise of the Last Summoner? Because he's also an Infuser, Invoker, and Necromancer. So he's only, like... Rise of the one fourth summoner. So, yeah, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Clunky with power issues. Yeah, I would expect that immediately. I would expect that immediately. What the minute I just read, he has like everything imaginable. Then you have to balance that? Mm. We'll see. We'll see. I'll add that somewhere. Maybe after to play with magic. I might add it after Second Chance, if Second Chance is good. So we can go Rune Seeker. So we can go like Rune Seeker here, right? Which is probably good. Second Chance, which it might be good or bad. And then if it's good, I can weave in Rise of the Last Summoner, because I suspect it might not be that great, but it could be. We don't, I don't know. We'll have to see. So we can weave that one in there. And if it's not good, we can instead weave in to play with magic, because that one might be better. And then we can go to here. Oh, there can't be anything else out there, is there? Oh, Jesus Christ, there's another one. Goddess Rising, book three. Oh, my God. All of these things seriously came out in a week? Okay, immediately I'm thinking, no, this is, this is harem, right? This, this is harem. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Uh, Sam Dragon of the College is magically translated to another realm. Wait, is this... You either... Dude, you either went to... Oh my god, wait, it lists an editor. Dude, it lists an editor. Okay, now you've got my attention. Your cover screams, like, I think you're leaning towards a genre you're probably not going to. Yeah, you're probably not, but the, the your cover kind of implies you are. But it's got an editor, so I expect higher quality writing from it, because not only did this author write something... They then brought someone on board to take their writing to the next level. So, okay. Yeah, you got me. I'm, pro I'm probably, I'm probably going to read it. But dude, either you used AI or I think you totally went to a harem, uh, a harem, writer, uh, harem artist for your cover, dude. But that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's whatevs. All right. This just got bumped ahead of to play with magic because I expect it to be better quality. <laughs> okay, this is just a sale.
Okay, it's not a new, it's not a new thing. New release, serialized lit RPG? Hmm. I think that's definitely, I think that's... No, the fingers are fine. I was gonna say that's definitely, uh, what's it called? AI, but maybe not, hey? Only available to US customers, so I can't try this story. Well, where's the link? First times would be free to read, here's the synopsis. Kindle Vela? What the crap is Kindle Vela? Oh, okay, it's a VR MMO. Yeah, no, thank you. I, I, that's, just not, that's just not my jam. That's just not my jam. The Fines of the Fall, that's fine, I know what that is. <laughs> no, it's not. Accidental Goblin King. Uh, Haramlet, never mind, we're not doing that anyway. Uh, Earth's Last Guardian is on Royal Road. I like the art style. Dude, I, I like I like that art style. That's actually really good. A lot of people try to go like super realistic or like they lean heavily into like the anime vibe or whatever. This is kind of like anime-ish, but it's also reminds me more of um like old 90s cartoons. Yeah, I, I don't know how to describe it. I like the art style though. Maybe I'll maybe I'll read Royal Road thing. Okay, I changed my mind completely. For those interested, there's also an accompanying not safe for work character art gallery. Ah, sci-fi harem lit. Okay. Nope, you're done. I'm I nope. Change plans. That's a shame. I like that art style. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Oh my god, another one. Uh gatekeeper. I like the cover. Not really into this part so much, but I do like the cover. Uh, available on Amazon. Okay. What do we got here? Can I have a link? Thank you. Uh, is this on his Amazon or is that... that oh, no, it's not. He wrote more. All right, let's see what the author himself has to say about this. Oh, this is a blurb. Wait, no, this is a... Yeah, okay. My book Gatekeeper's been out for a couple of weeks now and I figured it was time to put my marketing hat on and try marketing a proper ad. Now, I am the furthest thing from an artist. In fact, my drawings are so bad, they probably made my school art teachers weep with despair and may even be responsible for a nightmare or two. That, see, that's pretty good and it seems well written. Like, I didn't see any... Uh, overt mistakes in the description, so he's taking his writing seriously. I like that a lot. I mean, maybe you're talking about too. Still, thanks to the wonders of my Canva's massive library of fonts and stock images, that'll get you far, yeah. I think I managed to cobble together something that shouldn't make people's eyes scream. That's just from stock imagery, huh? Maybe stock imagery and then some filters? I could see that actually being a thing. Or maybe he put something together with stock imagery and some filters, and then maybe he gave it in, uh, to like an AI thing and told it to use his work to generate it in a different style. So that's pretty... That, that, yeah, sure. Uh, that's that's pretty creative. Uh, payoff debt is family from Ruin. Marcus joins Mimir's... Uh, Mimir's? Probably Mimir's. Gatekeeper, a group of famed mercenaries with the ability to travel between worlds. Despite the chance to gain power and wealth beyond imagining, he isn't thrilled. Fighting among beasts from the fringes of reality doesn't exactly sound like a stable career path. Yeah, I mean, that's probably stable until you're dead. Also, Marcus kind of sucks. Okay. The innate magic is supposed to and constantly refuses to manifest. Marcus finds himself falling further and further and further behind his fellow recruits. Okay. No formal stats or levels. Ooh, you just pissed off a bunch of people in the community. Uh, I've got a, quite a broad system with a bunch of different ways for characters to gain power, learning, creating skills, abilities, to getting powerful items, looks. Okay, you might have saved yourself with that one. Built-in social ranking system that gives a good uh, social ranking system. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> hmm. So, what's your social score this week? Oh dear. Did you mean to say social ranking system that gives a good idea of how strong various characters are and the rate at which they grow? I'm not sure you meant to use social there, because social now brings to mind very real world ranking systems right now that you can find in certain places around the world that's not very good. But this got, it has my attention. What's the ratings like on it right now? Five? Only five? I'm not surprised. The minute he probably said, yeah, there's no real, uh, you know, stats or leveling or however he worded it. Dude, man probably lost half the community. A lot of people read just to see numbers go up. But I, I'm interested in this. I'm actually interested in this. And he wrote out a very comprehensive uh, blurb. Yeah, he's not getting a lot of he's not getting a lot of hits, unfortunately. But yeah, maybe I'll give it a try. Uh, don't know where though. Maybe. Oh my God, one week. How, dude? One week, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you are you joking? 
in a week. I've got eight freaking books here listed. Christ, man. I have to be, I have to like really decide which ones I'm reading, which ones I'm not. I can't believe there's this many. Please no more. Please no more. What? Rise of the first Minecraft. No, I, I'm not, I'm not going to read that. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to hard no on that. Added the ability to create ranked lists on my lit RPG discovery site. Ooh, what? There's already a place for ranked lists. For tier lists, right? So he's just trying to get like... I mean, I like, I, I like the idea of it. So I signed up to that website. I'll go ahead and give that a try and maybe rank all the things that I've uh, read on read and reviewed onto that site. So why not? What else we got here? What else we got here? Okay, now this one stuck out. Why do authors forget their genre? Here's my thing. Let our picture that so quickly move away from the things that readers love and essentially turn their books into a standard fantasy genre. It all becomes about a character's heart and will and confidence and nearly entirely moves away from what I feel is should be. Yikes. That's a big yikes. And it's getting like massively updated too. So yeah, I, that's crazy. That's a psychotic opinion. Like think about what this post just said. This post just said, why do authors move away from what I think their book should be? And people are like, yeah, exactly. Why, why, why do they keep not writing the thing that I want them to write? Why do they keep putting in characters and, and character and motivation and determination? I don't want anything here. I just want character going out, killing things, numbers go up. Yikes. I, that's insane that that's actually getting so well uh, upvoted. But I, some people just want that. Some people just want that. They don't, want, they don't care about like, a character's heart, uh, their determination, like their, their mental state. They, they just want numbers go up. They just want numbers go up. That's a yikes. I'm, I'm sad that that has so many upvotes. Vampire Lord Lit RPG. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to read it yet, but maybe, like, I, I could see that could be a thing. If it, comes, if it uh, releases again, maybe. I haven't read a vampire book in forever, but if it's done well, totally could. Totally could. Oh my god. Uh, another person's got a thing in progress. No one's upvoting it. Updoting it. Updoting him. What? What? Sure, no. Good for you, dude. Seriously, guy, give 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 him the updates. Congratulations, you got uh, you got you got a thing going. Good luck, good luck, sir. Uh, you know what? No comments. I'm even gonna go ahead and say it. Hey, haven't read your work yet, but just wanted to say good luck writing. Keep doing what you enjoy, my man. Ah, ah. Yeah, good luck, dude. Uh-oh, got another one. Blood for power. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I didn't really enjoy it. I, I don't think I've read this yet. And I don't think I'm going to. Because the whole being able to, being expected to, you know, kill your enemies and bathe in their blood for some reason is weird. Yeah, I, th I think this one, though I do like the zombies. Oh, God, I have a weakness. I have a weakness for zombies. Shoot, he's got zombies in this book? Bro, why? Zombies don't have a lot of blood, though. Yeah, it's not... There won't be a lot of blood in this whole zombie thing. Okay, seems kind of cartoony. Seems, seems kind of cartoony. The, a lot of the uh, critiques for the book uh, down below in the review said that it was cardboard cutout, you know, cartoony, mustache-twirling villain kind of type. Which I've, I'm not really looking for right now. I, I've had enough of that, thank you. So I think I'll be skipping that one, even though I will give it to him, man. He's... However, wherever he found his artist, I hope he's paying them well. His artist is doing work. That is... That almost makes me want to pick it up. 
Another? No. What? Okay, this looks like a, it's just a it's just a lit harem. Yeah, forming soul packs with both followers and wives. Yeah. Okay. Nope. 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 No, thank you. Good luck, sir. Oh my god. You're. Oh my god. Another one. How many books have been released in the last week? Honestly, what's what's the number? Are we over twelve at this point? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just rejected 10, 11. This is the 12th. Yeah, at least 12 in the last week alone. My God. The competition, brother. All right, so what is this? What is this? What do we have? Uh, three hunters, two for a pet, and one for power. Today was the... How the crap do you pronounce that? Uh, Ir Iridisily? Was the Iridisily's happiest day? Until it wasn't. I don't even know what that is. Is that a person? Quill monster interrupted his trip. Oh, it's Parson. Uh, stole his mother and fled. Thankfully, he was born on such an occasion. For such an occasion. From eating creatures will allow him to evolve new abilities and grow and find the ones he loves. Okay. And then Lacrondia? Was it perks of being a movie star? The no, movie star's name is Lacrondia? What are these names? These names are weird. However, when a native interrupts her illegal romp about the Australian. Oh, wait, that's an, an actual name. What? And Lucy McLeod. Department of Miscellaneous Affairs. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, cute, sure. I I guess he's... This person? A cruel monster interrupted his trip. Stole his mother and fled. Is that him? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Because, like, he's obviously, you know, consuming to grow stronger. So I'm assuming that. I mean, yeah, assuming this guy. And those two are... So who's the movie star? Is she the movie star? No, maybe? I don't... I don't know what's going on here. She and her colleague, Jerry. Who the, f who the flip is Jerry? I think I'm skipping. Yeah, I think I'm skipping. There's, like, way too many questions about this. Three hunters, two for a pet, one for power. But the pet is... I don't know. I don't know. I'm over it. And then we've got... Oh, my Jesus Christ. Are you joking? Please, for the love of God. Uh, okay. Mana devoured, nervous and excited. Over a month spent staying up. Way too late writing. I find someone to say curse to write 140,000 words. Are posting. Oh, it's railroad. Okay, we we could avoid railroad. We could avoid unless maybe 140k. That's that's book length, right? Maybe is it just railroad or is it? Is there a link to an Amazon thing? Mm, I did say I'd consider that. The other one, right? Hi there. My name is Silverdon. Wait, aren't you? Arkbon? All right, Arkbon is Silverdon. Why? Oh, maybe someone already has it. Someone probably already has a name Silverdon. That sucks. That that's hard. That, that that's painful. You like think of a pen name for yourself. You're like, okay, this is who I'm gonna be, and then you like go to make your Reddit account, and someone already has it. It's like ah, shoot. Yeah, lucky for me, I've already got my Dwyerin name. Wow, I've had this account since 2012, dude. That's crazy. I don't post very often, though. Not really heavily in the social media. All right. Uh, let's see. It's a story about devouring mana. I kind of like the idea of that. Like, devouring as in actually devouring. Like, instead of using mana, he eats it to grow stronger. Dude. Okay, so if this is a book where the guy is consuming it, not to use it, but to get denser, kind of like a black hole, right? He keeps sucking it in, so it can't come back out, and the people around him can't use it because they can't escape his grip on it, as it is, like, constantly coming into him. That could be interesting, because everyone around him would hate him, because he'd be taking the mana that they're trying to use for, like, skills or whatever, and as he gets stronger... The greater that pool would be, the more people he would anger. I is he actually devouring? Is he actually consuming and just growing more dense? Because if that's what it is, I'll read this on Royal Road. Whatever. Uh, it's also about the guy who's thrust into a perilous situation and forced to find inventive, inventive ways to survive. Are they really inventive, or is it more of a solution that was then? given a problem right like sure there's a problem but the author always knew how he was getting around it so it's a problem 
Like, which of those two is it? A uh, very hostile world. I mean, aren't they all? With all of a high potential mana cheat. Oh. Oh, okay. Mana cheat. All right. OPMC. I have a... F mm. I have a hunch we're not really devouring it in the sense like a black hole devours things. I think he's more of he's just using mana at this point. Uh, and with a bunch of gods and other entities around him who either want to help him or kill him. I hope it's not that black and white. Because if everyone's either on his side or just wants to kill him, then we might have too uh, flat of a world to really be interested in. If everyone's either, you know, cheerleading for him or just, you know, mustache twirling trying to kill him kind of deal. That would kind of suck. Uh, needless to say, Marcus doesn't entirely know who to trust, and he'll have to work, he'll have his work cut out for him if he wants to survive and progress in this confusing and strange world where the gods rule over regions like overlords and demons summon humans, wait, de demons summon humans, and other planets like they're familiars. Been working on the story for a long time. Have you? I thought you just said you did it in like a month, bro. Didn't you just say you wrote it in a month? I'm confused. I'm confused. Didn't he say he'd been doing it for a month? But now he says he's been doing it for a long time. So, which one is it? Huh. Hmm. Summoned to a terrifying world of Ferelia, forced to fight to survive. Marcus awakens a power so vast and so rare. Rare does not mean it's one of a kind, though. So there will be other people with his power, right? Hmm. That every god there is trying to either recruit Marcus for potential or straight up murder him. Uh, I don't know about that, though. Like, if a god is trying to murder you when you have very, very low, like, power, won't they just be able to straight up murder you? I mean, they're a god, right? Okay, so fuck that. Marcus is gonna take this whole world down, beginning with the demonic asshole that brought him here. Ah, uh, starting from nothing, difficulty is insane. He got so much mana in his body that it might kill him. But he's determined to thrive. For each monster Marcus devours, he grows stronger. Wait, so the mana doesn't make him stronger? The monsters he kills makes him stronger? We have an appetite for every monster, demon, saint, ascendant, ancient, warlord, and king that dares get in his way. Uh, I mean, it hit a lot of buzzwords, but I don't know. Like, there seems to be a couple of inconsistencies here with the description itself that make me wonder how well thought out the world is, if that makes any sense. Hmm. Royal Road Link, huh? 140,000 words, though, in a in uh, about a month. I don't know. I don't know. So probably s that means it's serialized? Are the chapters going to feel self-contained? Mm, I don't know. Love waking up to new chapters. What is this review? Bro, what is this review? He literally dumped all of them in one day. Seriously. Is this a paid review? How could you love waking up to new chapters if he literally dumped all the chapters in one day? Uh, he, this is a friend. This is a friend. 100% this is a friend. Great storyline, loving the character development. Which also means he read 140,000 words in one day. Dude. Bro. Uh, anytime I see a new chapter out is when I draw... I don't... What do you mean anytime you see a new chapter out? Again! What are you talking about? Are, are these like bot reviews? Just the right amount of Mary Sue. Okay, I'm glad you're agreeing. It's Mary Sue. Oh, maybe he's written other things. Wait, has he written other things? No, one fictions. Okay, so yeah, this is the only thing that he's done. Well, I find some main characters' reactions and emotions a little extreme or odd in some circumstances not out... Not outside the bounds of normal expectations. The characters he and Rice all have a life of their own and don't feel samey. So the problem, uh, the only thing that I have right now, maybe I don't understand how this uh, thing works. There's nine chapters. So you're telling me you put 140,000 words into nine chapters? Is it all released or isn't it? 
May, I've got a few questions. Maybe I'll give this a little peek. Uh, it, it seems a little strange. It seems a little strange. This seems very weird. I'm assuming it's not all out. Because there's no shot you put 140,000 words, was it? Into nine chapters. Because that means you need an editor. That means you need an editor badly. So I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming... You have, but if we didn't, then how did someone? How did it take someone twelve hours to read nine chapters? That doesn't that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, that's really sus. That's really sus. I think this is probably needs in, is in dire need of an editor. Maybe tell you what, I'll bookmark it. Maybe I'll bookmark it. I admit I'm more confused than anything else. But we'll see. Uh, please tell me that's it. Okay, that we finally got done. Jesus. Okay, so I think I'm going to continue with what I said initially, and we're going to start with Rune Seeker here. Uh, so you can look forward to reviews for the next quite some time, because oh my god, uh, in the last week, so many things have come out. <sighs> Guess I got some reading to do. <laughs>